हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज आर पार्ट थ्री वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक मेटलर्जी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ओर्स सो देयर आर डिफरेंट मेथड्स फॉर द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ओर्स सो दिस पोर्शन इज ऑमिटेड फ्रॉम द क्लास टेंथ पेपर बट दिस इज यूजफुल फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ मटीरियल साइंस स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो यूजफुल फॉर द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स so let's start so here in this video we are going to discuss the term metallurgy and in our previous videos we have already discussed about the term minerals ores and gangs and we have also discussed name of different ores right and here in this video as we are going to discuss about the concentration of ores but before that i just want to bring to your notice that what is called metallurgy so metallurgy is the process of extraction of metal from their ores so number of steps are involved in the extraction of metal from their ores and those processes are called metallurgy which involves the following steps so here is the concentration of ores calcination and roasting of the ores smelting of the ores reduction and purification of the impure metal let us discuss briefly about these terms so here concentration of ores means removal of gang or unwanted impurities from the ore so there are different methods for removal of this gang and matrix from the ores which we are going to discuss here in this video the next is calcination and roasting so calcination and roasting is the heating of the ore below their melting point in the absence of oxygen and in the presence of oxygen whereas this is smelting is the heating of ore in the presence of some flux material and in the presence of air at high temperature so calcination roasting and smelting these are the terms which are heating of heating of ores in different conditions depending on the nature of the ores that we are going to discuss all three terms in the next video so here in this step calcination and roasting and smelting these three are the terms in which we are getting the metal oxides so these are uh, these three steps are depending on the nature of the ores which step we need to do so that we are going to discuss in the next video so smelting is to remove infusible impurities from the concentrated ore then is reduction so as we know removal of oxygen from any element is called its reduction so here here the reduction means getting metal from their metal oxide right so that is called reduction the next is purification so purification can be done for the impure metals if we get impure metals then that can be purified through this distillation liquidation and electrolysis method etc let's start with the concentration of ores what is called concentration of removal of unwanted rocky substance like sand clay quartz feldspar silica mica etc from the ore to increase the concentration of metal in that ore is called concentration of ore for example here i am showing you the example of silicate suppose it is this ore is along with the matrix particles right so here suppose the red shows the ore particles and blue and this black shows the gang or the matrix particle in the form of sand clay quartz feldspar silica etc so the removal of these gang or the matrix particle from the ore to increase the concentration of the metal in the ore is called concentration so here uh, this is how we can do like this is the ore and removal of these gang particles from the ore to increase the concentration of metal in called concentration or as we have already discussed in the previous slide so there are four different methods one is gravity separation second is froth flotation method magnetic separation method and leaching here you can see the pictures for these uh, different concentration of ores or separation methods so gravity separation froth flotation method magnetic separation method and in the leaching we are having the solution of some appropriate solvents that we are going to discuss Next, let's discuss one by one so first is gravity separation in this method the ore is powdered 
so suppose this is the ore and this is crushed finally and added to the tank this is washed with running stream so here suppose this is washed with a running stream on a platform the lighter earthy materials and the gangs are washed away these are lighter in weight and they are washed away and the heavy ore particles are stuck over there right so in this way ores are left behind and this method is applicable for uh, like iron ores which are heavier than the gang particles so this method is also called levigation the next concentration of ore method is froth flotation method and this process is applicable for sulfide ores generally but the reason is what why we are applying this for sulfide ores actually this process is based upon the preferential wetting of the ore particles and gang particles by liquid for example pine oil and potassium here i'll show you this principle through this picture suppose we are having this finally crushed powder of ore and to this we are adding the pine oil so the ore particles have high affinity towards this pine oil as compared to the gang particles and these particles of ore which are wetted with this pine oil as well as potassium ethyl xanthate this potassium ethyl xanthate works as a froth stabilizer so here these ore particles are wetted and uh, uh, this potassium ethyl xanthate is absorbed by the ore particles and then a strong stream of air is passed to this tank and the whole mass is agitated and froth is formed and this is just a representation of formation of froth so this blue the ore particles preferentially wetted by the oil and come at the surface just because of their decrease in surface tension and they come at the surface along the froth the impurities are wetted by the water and left behind in the tank so this is the principle of this froth flotation method the next method is magnetic separation method this process mainly depends on the magnetic nature of ore and gang if either of these are magnet like if ore is magnetic in nature or the gang is magnetic in nature then this process is applicable to that kind of ores the magnetic separator consist of a leather belt which is rolling over the rollers this yellow roller is non magnetic in nature and this green roller is magnetic in and when the finally crushed ore is suspended over this leather belt as it is rolling over these rollers these red particles or the ore particles are magnetic in let's say they are magnetic in nature and they are of magnetite ore then they have extra affinity towards this magnetic so they are going a long way with this roller and they are separated in a separate container whereas these non magnetic gangs are separated since it is not having any affinity towards this magnetic roller so they are fallen down straight away whereas this is tilted somewhat so these two are in this manner separated in different containers Uh, this method is applicable to remove the magnetite impurity from the cassiterite which is an ore of tin oxide and this is also useful in case of pyrolusite which is the ore of manganese oxide the next process is leaching this process is useful in those cases where the ores are soluble in suitable solvent for example in the beers process bauxite is dissolved in concentrated and through this concentrated NaOH since alumina is dissolved and these insoluble impurities are removed through filtration from this concentrated NaOH solution aluminum oxide or alumina can be removed similarly this method is also applicable for the silver and gold particles by their dissolution in NaCN and KCN solutions though these are very hazardous to health so generally these type of sol solvents are avoided but these metals can be extracted through them so this is all about the concentrated ores which are given in the syllabus of class 12 i hope you find this video useful subscribe my channel and give me thumbs up thank you all